Okay, let's continue to work on restricted values. And over here we know that 2p squared minus 7p plus 3 cannot equal 0. And um, once we factor this, we're going to obtain 2p minus 1 times p minus 3, which cannot equal 0. And uh, if you have any questions on how to factor this, you should probably go to our website over here. Just click on polynomials and try trinomial factoring. I would just rather not go through the steps right now because we have worked on them substantially in the polynomials chapter. Anyways, so we know that 2p minus 1 times p minus 3 cannot be equal to 0. So, okay, let's look at each one of, the, of these <laughs> binomials individually. And 2p minus 1 cannot be equal to 0. So 2p cannot be equal to 1. We divide both sides by 2. So p cannot be equal to half. What about over here? p minus 3 cannot be equal to 0. So p cannot be equal to 3. And that's it. Those are the restricted values for p. Half and 3. That's it. What about over here? Now, we know that 9n squared minus 4 cannot be equal to 0. And this would be a difference of two squares. So once we factor 9n squared minus 4, we obtain 3n minus 2 times 3n plus 2. OK. So now let's take these individually. 3n minus 2 cannot be equal to 0. So 3n cannot be equal to 2. I just added 2 to both sides of the equation. Then it can divide both sides by 3. And n cannot be equal to 2 over 3. Over here, 3n plus 2 cannot be equal to 0. So 3n cannot be equal to negative 2. So n cannot be equal to negative 2 over 3. Therefore, the restrictions for this rational expression would be n cannot be equal to negative 2 over 3 or positive 2 over 3. And that's it.